Gloria Leibecker here with Healing You. Today I've taken the time to get really present with um, the acknowledgement that there's many of us on this life journey that have the experience of not really knowing who we are, of not knowing what to do in our life or how to be in life. We find ourselves just going through the motions like a robot, just on autopilot, just driven by the shoulds and the oughts and the have tos of our life. What we've been conditioned to believe that we should do or we ought to do or told that we have to do. And that drives our behavior. I remember um, there's more than once that I've found myself in this place. And I remember meeting another person and they were talking about um, the value of, of awakening and like a rebirth of their whole felt sense of self. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I didn't get it. I'm like, how is that possible? I, I just had so much doubt that there was actual value to what this other person was saying. And then I had a lot of shame around my doubt and around my emotions and not trusting that it was safe to actually show up in my doubt or with my questions. So then I had this very harsh, contemptuous, rather um, ridiculing voice inside that was then I would be consumed with worry and, and shame and guilt. And it was a vicious loop. Just doing my best to figure this thing called life out. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's possible to find your path and to find on that path that you are free to be who you were born to be. that it's possible to have compassionate understanding around these intricacies and subtleties of life. And you can actually be inspired by your life, be inspired by life itself and, and stepping into that experience of being one with life in its fullness. And then you can just embody your whole felt sense in your being. You get to be who you are. Nothing more and nothing less. And those emotions that used to stymie you and confuse you and feel worry and guilt, it's possible to discover that they make sense, that you make sense. It's like no wonder you felt the way you did because you understand what was lying underneath that. Because when you honor your emotions, you're able to then receive the messages. It's a bottom-up process. You develop your capacity to be gentle and kind and loving. And to have a sense of peace that resides within you. And how is this possible? Well, part of it is, is our, um, our perception. So there's a paradigm shift that happens from from where we perceive that we don't know who we are and how do we get to that place where we know we are free to be who we were created to be? Well, it's developing your capacity to know that, like for me, I say, I am enough as I am. And let that sink in for a minute. And it's because I am open to receive I'm open to receive from life, through my heart, through my sensations, through my emotions, to live in the now. And I'm empowered by my heart connection with life. And that's in the now, right here, right now. Oh, and to breathe into that, to be in this moment, in that connection. 
And that would require a skill set. And if we don't have it, then we need to start somewhere. And where I start on my journey, where I started, was first noticing what did I tell myself? And that was foreign. I hadn't even realized that I was telling myself something. It's like, what? What are you talking about? And then not just noticing what I would tell myself, but then connecting the dots. How does what I tell myself drive my behavior? How are those connections being made unconsciously? I wasn't aware this was happening. So when I started to notice that, then I could also take the time to slow down and then actually feel. How does that feel in my body and feel? It was a contraction. And maybe contraction, maybe even a, a collapse in my body because it's a bit of a shame reaction when we collapse that way. It comes from that belief of scarcity that we're not enough as we are. And so from that place, then to bring in, sometimes it helps to have an image of someone you love. It could be a, a grandmother. It could be a a close friend, a parent, it could be an animal. But to bring in an image of someone that you trust, someone you're safe with. So from that place in your body, just notice when you bring in that compassionate witness, just slow time down, be with it. Notice what happens within your being. Oh, and if you're willing to start taking those steps today to learn those skills, then I encourage you to have something to write it down on. Each step, practice slowing down in your day. Start out once a day, twice a day. My preference would be three times a day. To take time to just slow down and notice, what, what have I been telling myself? And what behaviors are coming from that? And write it down. And then slow it down a, another minute. How does it feel in your body? You write it down. And then bring in that compassionate witness and notice what happens inside and write it down. And practice this daily. And then notice as you practice writing it down, you can reflect back and you can begin to notice your patterns are changing. And that's cool when that happens. So if this connects with your heart, then I would love to invite you to join me to work and heal with others. You can start with my free course on my website, healingusanctuary.com. And this course will cover some basic steps for that heart connection. And it will unpack these patterns that drive our behavior so that we can begin to see that we do make sense after all. And to know that you do matter. So again, check out the free course. HealingYouSanctuary.com And thanks for being on this journey with me today. Healing You.